Without beating about the bush, let's have a brief introduction of yourself, sir. Okay, my name is Navy Commander Dennis Omesa. I was uh, a chief instructor in our faculty and the commander of staff, and staff college judge as at 1995. I joined the military on 28th of June 1972 as NDA regular course 12 officer. As at now, I think uh, I'm, I'm 64 years old. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All your grievance, why are you here? I'm here to, 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 to complain about the injustice meted on me and others concerning the 1995 Phantom Coup and the 1997 Setup Coup. Okay. The adjective Phantom makes it look as if it, it didn't happen. Yes, it's a ghost coup. Okay. Thank God we are now in a democracy. Yes. Between you, me, and the gatepost, was there a coup? Was there a coup? Negative. There was no coup at all. Both in 1995 and in 1997, there was no coup. There was no coup? No coup at all. When you say there was no coup, that means no execution of coup. No execution of coup, no planning. What of conception? Nothing like that. The reason I'm asking you this question is because, you know, Mama and Fasa coup. Yes. There was no coup before they were arrested. Fasa and others, to the best of my knowledge. Yes. Don't you think General, the late Senator General Basha arrested you guys as a kind of preemptive measure to forestall coup. Were you conceived, were you planning, plotting coup? A coup, rather. Like I said, I'm a naval officer. Okay. Uh -huh. My own case is different entirely okay. from the Army's point of view. Right. After the arrest, I asked my colleagues why they were even arrested to start with. What I got from them was, after the annulment of June 12 of 1993, the Army, Army, Army High Command called some of the officers, the commanders and commanding officers, and asked them about their opinions on the annulment of June 12 election, and that they were going to Armed Forces uh, Provisional Council to forward their ideas to the Mr. President, then Babangida. So what was their view, unanimous views, was that uh, they should please tell Mr. President that uh, they should please make a broadcast, national broadcast to the nation, hmm? so as to let the people know why he annulled June 12th. That's all. That was 1993. That was their view. It was, it was a bit the other way around, like if they had come to me, they had come army command. No, go on, go on, go on, go on, tell him. That would have been mutiny. This is not mutiny. You ask them their opinion. And they gave you their opinion. Doc, 1995 came, you started arresting these officers. That they were coup plotters. How? How? Don't you think they were arrested because they were sympathetic to the cause of June 2 f Were you or are you a member of Nadeko? No, I'm not a member of Nadeko. And from what I found out from these officers, they were arrested because of their sympathy to the annulment of June 12, 1993. Based on that, their views then. Okay. I recollect that there is this military man, a soldier, Colonel Dangiwa Umar. Yes. I don't know if he's still now, but he was a staunch member of NADECO. In any way, were you related? Were you very close to him during his days in the military? Well, like I said, I'm a naval officer. I, I, didn't, know. I didn't know this officer. I've not met him before. So I was not close to him. Okay. I know this is something you all want to recollect, but what, what was it like in the prison? I didn't go to prison. I was not charged. You were not charged? No. Okay. After the end of the military rule. At the beginning of General Basanjo's tenure as president, the Oputa panel was set up yes. to give the aggrief a kind of emotional closure. Yes, that's true. Were you there? Yes, I was there at Tafabalewa Square. 
what the hell in Lagos? Were there recommendations for you? Of course there were recommendations made. Let us know some of the recommendations. Okay, let me just look at These are the recommendations, yes. right? Now, all the trials and convictions to be referred to court for nullification. Yes. Have they done that? That all the trials and convictions to be required refer to the court for nullification that you people should not be seen as coup plotters. That's what uh, Bayo Joe was working on at that time. The Attorney General. On the Abbasanjo. The other Abbasanjo. So the fire is seen with the Minister of Justice as I'm talking to you now. What a letter of apology to all victims at the federal. We have not gotten it up here now. We are actually expecting it after an implementation. Okay. Monetary reparation to all victims. We have not been called, so how do we get the monetary reparation? <laughs> During the recommendations, were they specific? How much are we talking about here? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. They were not specific. As at that time, what I know is that uh, from the put out report from the internet okay. that I downloaded, as at that time it was 10 million naira to each victim. As at 1999. And things have changed now. Now nah, things have changed. I mean, 10 the million then, power of 10 compared million. to now, what it is now. We are talking about 20 years ago. Yes. 10 million, yes. That's what is what recommended to, to, to each uh, victim. Restatement and promotion of all military victims to the highest ranks currently held by their cosmates in the armed forces serving or retired. Yes, that was the recommendation of the Buddha panel. Because ours was, what I put it, was a frame of, so we are addressed as, we are known as, not having committed any, any offense. So the Buddha panel recommended that we should be promoted. In my means, I'm a general, that's the highest anyway. Yeah, yeah. You give my major general as a time of 35 years in the service. Were you stripped of your ranks? When you were, when they charge, when, were you stripped of your ranks because of these trumped up charges? Yes. We are still our ranks, but it was Absalom Baka who restored the ranks. Okay, they restored the ranks? Yes. Okay. But now, by right, the Oputa Fadana said they should promote us to the highest ranks. Of course. Before they now retire us. To so address the injustice. To address the injustice. So these ones who I'm saying payment of all entitlements, the salaries, allowances, including lodging allowance, leave, soft furniture. All oh, those are military yeah. terminologies kind of. Yeah, I know. So they should follow the implementation. Implementation. Yes. Right now, how do they address you? Retired of officer hall? I'm retired as a retired. commander, yes. But all of the entitlements of a retired officer, are you benefiting from that? Of course that? we are benefiting from that. In our old ranks. Okay. That means to some to a very large extent, yes. you are not stigmatized. That's in your statutory right for being a retired officer. Yes. They are giving you. Yes. That's true. Okay. Okay. There is this number seven, comprehensive rehabilitation of all victims, military and civilians to be given jobs related to their areas of specialties. What was, what's the meaning of this? That was what Kupana recommended. That because we are unjustly retired, mm -hmm. we should be compensated. And you know, maybe, that, maybe I would have been chief of defense staff. You don't know. Of course, of course. Maybe I, chief, I would have been chief of naval staff. You don't know. You just cut my career short. It's not fair. What was what about that recommendation? This is the matter of it all. Award of national honors to all victims as self sacrificial lamb of present day. Our democracy is no longer an asset anyway. No <laughs> man asset. No, 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 no. That was one of the common recommendations yeah, of recommendation, the Recommendation, yeah. So, any national award for you? You have not been caught for anything to date. Do you know the process, the federal government, the process for awarding people national awards? I wouldn't know. I, wouldn't know. I don't know. So, but the Oputa panel recommended many of those things, yes. Yeah, OFR, G, something like yeah, that. Yeah, we know all those ones, we know them offered. O, M, G, O, M, G, C, F, R for the IS, you know, that kind of thing. So, based on, on what I have here, sir, your others in your group, we have General Dukari Madisa, the then Mr. Oboz, blah, blah, blah. We have uh, Olan Rewaju. All these people, were they 
given the recommendation, did they benefit from the recommendations of the Oputa panel? Yes. No, I call me. There are two factions of the... I know. The 95... 95, which is a frame-up coup. Yeah. And 97, which is set-up coup. Yeah. The art of 1995, mm. apart from Baba Obasanjo, nobody has been compensated mm. in being president. What about Shah, um, the senior Yaradua? He has not been compensated either. General Yaradua, who died in prison, yeah. he has not been compensated. We are just left languishing. 1995, Phantom Group Nothing has been done about us. Did Obasanjo make any effort during his administration? to make sure that the recommendation were met. What he said when he called us on the 10th of February, year 2007 was this, that he had to find a way to scoop out the 1995 Phantom Coup issue for implementation. That was difficult. That was what he told us. And that, based on that now, he was not mandating the Saturday General Minister of Justice to I work on it by or Joe then to work on it and get it implemented by July of uh, 2007. He even promised inviting the then president, uh, former president, Jimmy Carter, United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British Prime Minister, I can't remember any other John Major, I can't remember that we were, and we had to come with our wives for a luncheon in Abuja in July of what year? 2007. 2007. He didn't do it, he left. That was in the twilight of his administration when his administration. Yeah, when I was about to. And his, uh, his watch. So, after leaving the office, Yadua came in. Yadua came in. Yes. Should have been considering the fact that his elder brother was one of you people. Yes. Should have been more interested in your case. What did he do? Yes, he was. He sent for us immediately. In 2008, he sent for us. He was in the president that approved the recommendation of the Bukapana. It was President Omar Yadua that approved the recommendation of the Bukapana. Even endorsed that of Dia. Even added the uh, Lamesia. It's in that. It's in that uh, one of those documents. Yeah. But Dia did not belong to your group. It didn't belong to our group. We belong to the nine and seven yes. setup group. And all I'm saying is that he, on his own, mm -hmm. addressed the two. So yeah, I put both together in, on the same file, on the same page. Okay. When I was preparing for this interview, I just I read something. One of the interviews you granted before, you said something about Sai Abamai. Sai Abamai? Yeah. Yes. What did he do then? Or well, say something, I can't recollect exactly what he said. Sai Abamai was one of the goons that messed up our careers. Okay. That is becoming interesting. You know, Lieutenant General Oladi Upodia. Yes. When they were arraigned then. Yes. He has a particular question. Where is Bamai? Yes. Why is he always involved? Why do you always mention him? That was the real Hitler of that era. It was Bamai that set up the year. From what I found out later. Not an army of us. Yeah. Actually, I found the. the, the, the why the 1995 one was a uh, phantom, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. or frame up? Mm -hmm. Theirs too was phantom because they were set up like setting a trap and you're walking to the trap. That was what Bama he did for Dia and his, and his group. Dia yeah, didn't on his own, one, he didn't want to to, 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 to to any government. He was tricked into it. That's why General Dia was angry that where is Bama he now? The person that started. Yeah, he started the whole thing. He was masterminder of everything. Where is Bamei now? And now he was arrested with Bamei and other officers. Now, after the arrest, they set Bamei, uh, Bamei free. It's not fair. It's not fair. All right. There are many questions to be asked, but let's have the important one. Bamei masterminded. The 1990, to the best of your knowledge, you yes. believe he set people, he set people up. Yes. They walk into the trap. Yes. Blah, blah. But That's all. The uh, other Yes, 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 yes. I know what I'm talking about, sir. But in the military, 
don't you think, do you think this, the military leaders, were they not suffering from siege mentality? Were they not paranoid? Maybe sometimes they believe, you know, you have loyalists. Yes. Who were you loyal to then? As at that time? Yeah. Why were loyal to the head of state, General Bacha? Was he from loyal to the head of state? Did you know you were loyal to him? How will I know? How will I know? Maybe your loyalty was in question. It wasn't in question because let me tell you one thing. In the military, you are, you are under two laws. You are commanded okay. by two laws. Yeah. The military law and the civil law. You are subservient to your head of state. You are loyal to your head of state, whoever is head of state. As far as I'm, was con I'm concerned, I was loyal to the, to the head of state. I didn't remember what was my, 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 my offense. Mm -hmm. I went left now, one left now, Colonel uh, Bamboche was arrested. Mm -hmm. Remember? Take us down the memory lane yourself. Okay, I go back, I go back. As a second of March, yeah, 1995. Okay. A left now corner by name Kaka came to my house around 4 a.m. in the morning and knocked and said, Sir, Oga, you are wanted in Kaduna by then GOC 1D, then Brigadier General Ahmed Abdullah. I told the officer, Why would Abdullah want to see me? I'm not an army officer. I'm not under him. I'm under the commander of Star College, the commandant. He said he didn't know. I should just follow them. When I came out, I saw that soldiers are surrounding my, my house, my residence. And I said, why? He said, I was wanted. Okay, let's go. They took me to Kaduna, kept me in a guest house in front of NDA. There I was, a VIP place, VIP. Then I was watching, I saw a television set, CNN, all those kind of things going, ah. I said, what is happening? He said, sir, I didn't know, you didn't know. Where is my junior? Then one of now came out from one of the rooms. My name, I think he's late now, Lefna Colonel Alaga. He was the Div Intelligence Officer for one Div Kaduna. But one Div Kaduna. He said, Oh, guy, I know you. I said, You know me? I don't know you. He said, You're a regular too. I said, Yes. Oh, guy, I know you. I recollected, and I recollected her. I haven't met him somewhere. He's an int officer. He said, Oh, guy, but there's no coup. How do you know there's no coup? He said he's the div officer, intelligence officer of that division in Kaduna one div. So this is this Jews he said he should have already arresting officers. So now I asked the guy, why should I be arresting the officers? What have they done? That's why they brought him to there. <laughs> and detained him there. And from there to where? The next day. No, that evening, sorry. Yeah. They moved me out to that place. To the GOC's guest house in Kanta Road, Kadena, Kanta Road, Kanta Road. I was kept in the master bedroom of the GOC's guest house. Without access to television. Yeah. I was television, I was radio, hot water bath, me. And then they brought uh, one malam in white, in white, like a uh, stew, I don't know, to ask me anything I wanted. Even I wanted want a cigarette, I wanted beer, I wanted pandarium, I should ask him to give to me. And I said, I wonder, what is happening? Before God, I'm out, what is happening? I didn't know what was happening. So two days later, there was one army captain who came. I can't remember his name. He said, oh, guy again, oh, guy, I know you, sir. So you know me? I don't know you, a captain. I'm a captain, I don't know you. He said, sir, you are the secretary to our board in NDA. So what call? He said, that is the second regular course. I was secretary to that board. That took me into NDA. Say, a guy without you, I wonder, I'm going into NDA. Say, tell me what's happening. So he came around and debunked all the hmm. security network. Listening gadgets. So, a guy, let me tell you the truth, sir. That is no cool. That is no cool. This is about your line. I said, okay, I've heard. At that point in time, were you aware that? We were being paraded as a copist in court. I saw it, I saw it on TV or in my, in my room. <laughs> in network news. Saw your name? Ah! They said, no, they didn't mention my I said, 29 officers have been arrested, detained in Kaduna now for this same coup, this coup issue. They didn't mention my name. So I was seeing on network news on television, and you call me, addressing me as a coup plotter, and I'm watching television, listening to radio, BBC. 
Yang of General Dodo Bassanjo's name and the Yaradwa. And you call that one a coup? And call me a coup plotter? No. No. Let her find out my offense. What, 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 what was my offense? That I was not happy with the arrest of Lieutenant Colonel Bang Bushi. So I was complaining that why should they arrest him? He should be released though. I said, ah, me? Who was saying me? I didn't know this officer, the officer didn't know me. Being in judge together does not mean that you know everybody in judge. A judge is a large cantonment. Yeah, I was about asking that question. The strategic place of judge in the history of military. What's your position? What was your position? You said something about judge. Yes, I was the chief instructor in never faculty. Okay. Where we train officers or ranks or captains and majors in yeah. staff duties. I was in never faculty. Bangboche is in army faculty. Okay. It's such a large place. You have uh, infantry center and school there. You have the command and staff college there, and other things there. It's so large. So, don't you think because of the strategic position of you occupy there? Yes. To the best, the, my passion knowledge of coup plotting in Nigeria, there was no way they would have carried out executive coup without involving NAFA officers. Don't you think they they arrested you because of that? With due respect, have you ever seen the ship on dry land? <laughs> it's not funny. I've actually seen a figure on a dry land and then he commanded one a single officer alone. You were told there was a, a ship on dry land. Mm. You are now the only officer arrested in Jaji. You were the only officer. I was the only officer arrested in Jaji, never officer. Oh. And I'm a coup plotter with my frigate or aircraft carrier to attack Abuja from, 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 from River Kaduna. I don't know. I don't know. So you can see how malicious, how wicked these people were. So from 1995 yes. to the day Gerard Sonia Basha printed his last, the day he died, Yes. what happened within that span of time? I was on my own. You were arrested in 1995. Yes. Were you released at the point? After eight months in detention, I was released. It was when they were sending other people to prison. These same people were even innocent. They were sending them to prisons. Only about I think, six of us that were cleared. But I was nowhere to go. I'd put it, uh, frame us up, or charge us, frame put it that way. So we at least they had no other option than to release us. And they said I was bitter. I should go. You were? I was bitter. <laughs> that was what they told me. The, the military command told me I was bitter. That I should go. How do you think that kind of a thing? You cut my career short, and you're telling me I'm bitter? Okay, they gave you. you a compulsory retirement. Yes, service is no longer required for no just cause. The rest went to jail for no just cause. <sighs> That's serious. Yeah. So after that, after the compulsory retirement, I went back home. I went to my place. So. What happened next? Nothing happened. I'm here in my house since then. <laughs> I've been in my house since then, believing on um, whatever God provided for me by the grace of God. We, we are surviving with my wife and family. And this brings me to the issue of uh, those people who, are, who went to jail, who are retired, who are, who, who, who are clear later. Okay. People like Kone Ajayi, Gabriel Ajayi, who's, who's late now. Yeah. People like Kone Olukri, who's late now. People like uh, Beko, who is late now, Kuti. Kuti. People like uh, Major Akinyami, who is late now. People like Major Balisa, who is late now. Sergeant, uh, Sergeant of Sikweko, also, who is died in prison. General Yaradwa, who died in prison. Eh? I just saw a name here. Who? The late Bagada Kato, a journalist. I don't know him. But I he was one of the victims. Yeah. They killed him. They killed him. In Kaduna Island. Yeah, we have his picture there. I don't know him. So even the the parade him as one of you. Yes. But have you made efforts to contact some of these people? Shio Sun is now an influential person in Nigeria. Chris Ayao, a journalist, former senator. Have you ever made any effort to contact these people? Some of us made efforts to contact them. They didn't reply us.
they don't reply us. What come to Gusu, you made effort to contact Sunny. She was Sunny, he didn't reply. One Kanaizo made attempt to contact uh, Seretoki Zayamo, she didn't reply. And they had made it now. And these are people that call themselves activists. Those are no activists, or no, they are no activists. They are many, they, they are meditative, they are no more interested in it. You know, and they were people who made, who ruined their careers by their, by, by, by their voices. Crack on Running sort of papers. Crack on else. Eh? And that is it, too. Where is Colonel Lawa Garabi now? Lawa no, Garabi, I think it's in Kaduna or Abuja. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's either there, in the north. Why wow, has it been silent? I don't know. I think he tried his best during the era of uh, Abbas and just watch to see what could be done. Since the Baba didn't do anything now, he decided to go silent. Okay, so. Alamisia, did it belong to your group? The Trump or the no. Phantom Coup? I was not involved in any of the Phantom Coups. I was about asking that, that. I never heard of his name throughout the whole. Cool issue. So no, he was not involved in any coup. He was the former governor of uh, I know. I know. State. I know. He used to be Jonathan's boss. Jonathan was the deputy governor when yes, I yes, was the governor of Bayesa State. Yeah. So Jonathan Tebu's request before Council of State. Yes. What came out of that effort? Good. After the approval of the recommendation of the Kuta panel by then late uh, Mario Yaradua, mm. that was the next step before the implementation could take place. So that was it's, that was just to ratify the implementation of the Kuta panel. That was when he invited you to Abuja that she fought for him. Yes. That was the aim. After ratification of by the National Council of State meeting. Mm. Next was to invite us to come and take our claim. So they actually ratified. They ratified it. What but is that's left not now? Implemented. It has not been implemented. That is just what is left. Now they've done all the all the necessary, uh, is it ground work or footwork or I don't know admin work. The next thing is just to call us. Come and take your entitlements. That's what is left. Oh. So what will it now take for that to be done? I think we need to to appeal to the incumbent president. To use his good office to look into it and implement it because it's like implemented some people's own, like Geradia, late General Disa, Major Fatipe, uh, even uh, former governor, the late you know, by a man, implemented it. Should have been fiat by Jonathan. Jonathan should have been very this, implemented this in fiat. But why he did that one, I don't know. And let me rest. What's the language? So, are you saying? The, these documents will be somewhere gathering dust now. Yes, they definitely. So the Minister of Justice. Here, here, some of us look at the re relevant section and accepted its recommendations. Even though we know the decision might have to do with 2015 pool, we feel we should leave the ultimate decision to the public and posterity. So it's for that posterity that we are here. Number one, you've cleared your name that you did not plan any coup. Any coup. Nobody, none of us. None of you. Number two is that the recommendations of the Puta panel have not been implemented. It's consensus. So, what's the next step? If we are, as an organization now, we are going to do something as the watchdog of the society. Yes. As that the fourth estate of the ring. What do you think we can do? What we can do for us is to find a way to appeal to the president of the country. Uh -huh. As a, a matter of fact, all these phantom coups, let's go back, are offshoots of June 12. Since Mr. President has addressed June 12 issue, I think all these other ones are just like someone having a malaria, malaria fever. What are the symptoms of malaria fever? Headache, body ache, whatever it is, uh, high fever, and so on and so forth. To me, as he has addressed June 12, he should now come back and address these other symptoms. I follow June 12, that's the way I see it. 
you actually made a point there. Yes. That I think last year he gave the late Abiola a posthumous award. Posthumous award, yes. And even Baba Gana Kigibe, they eventually betrayed Abiola. So you people to should be considered in considered the same light. Yeah. Because I didn't believe there was no June 12th. There wouldn't have been. No June 12th. No, no 1995 coup. No 1997 set up coup. That's the truth. No Nadeko too. That's the truth. That's the truth. Some of your colleagues, how do they see you now? My former colleagues. Your former colleagues. Of course. They don't see me. They don't see me well. We are not in good times, definitely. You can because of this issue. Oh yes, oh yes. I treat it like a plague. You can imagine somebody who was so good, you are so brilliant. You can imagine your, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They now, I'll shine you. You are now generals, uh, and I are left behind for no just cause. You would not feel fine. You would not feel for feel fine at all. Uh, you would not feel fine. My prayer to them is that they should just try and repent. All of this will also cause these problems. They should try and repent before it's too late. But God, God is God of justice. That's all I can say. We are all going to die. We are not going to live forever. Nobody is uh, eternal. Yeah. That's, what I, that's my advice to them. They knew the truth. That we didn't do anything. But nobody was ready to help. Just abandons us, abandoned us. Some of our dead colleagues, you see their relatives, their families are living in squalors. Hmm. Some of them are even stroke patients. You see, some of them you pity them. So, after the compulsory retirement, yes, who succeeded you? Who did they put in your position? My position, Baba Shah's loyalist. I wouldn't know who they put there. It's not, it was not more my business. Why should, I, should, you should, you why, should. should I, why should I go and find out who they put there? Why should I go and find out who they put there? It's a military post. It's not a political post. Yes, I know. It's a political military post. So they must have put, must have put anybody a fellow put in there. Yeah. I asked that question because maybe knowing who they put there will have helped you in your fight for justice. Maybe, maybe, just maybe the person that succeeded you in court was actually part of the framing up. No, it wasn't part of the framing up. Let me tell you the, the truth. Even the service chiefs could not help anybody. Let me recall it. What was the service chief? The service chief, that is, when I mean service chief, I mean the chief of defense staff, chief yeah. of naval staff, chief of air staff, chief of army staff. Yeah. They couldn't talk. And who was the chief of um, naval staff? Uh, Vice Admiral Michael Hibbe, the late. He couldn't talk. Yeah, you said it. But they they were all subservient to the president, to the head of state. But they couldn't talk to him. Nobody could talk to him. Even Absalom and Baka could not talk to uh, uh, Abacha. He could not. They knew the truth. I think he was the chief of defense staff. Yeah, he was chief of defense staff, but he could not do anything. This was made mention of at the Puta Pana by then Reverend, Reverend Father uh, Mr. Bishop now Kuka. Kuka Mati Kuka. Kuka said they were meeting him, calling him, go and do something. These officers are innocent, go and do something. But nobody could do something. They were scared of Abacha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful, sir. See.